Zach, Tom's saying here, what do we do with Tim Patrick? He's a restricted free agent next year. Thanks, guys. Um, Bob Morris, Mile High Huddle's Bob Morris, had an article two days ago that went like wildfire on social media that said, look, the best thing to do, considering the fact that, you know, you got Jerry Judy and KJ taking big steps forward, expectedly anyway, in year two, you got Cortland coming back. The best thing with Tim would be to tag him, you know, RFA tender him, probably second round, and then trade him, you know, give his agent permission to seek a trade. What are your thoughts to that notion? Or do you think he's shown so much this year that you just don't look that gift horse in the mouth? You hold on to him because you just don't know what the future might hold. You can't have enough weapons on offense. And and Tim Patrick, no matter the quarterback in Denver, he's shown tremendous ability and chemistry with his guy. And with Locke, it's just a different kind of um, alchemy they have together. And that was, you know, we saw it last year in the Houston game, that long pass down the sideline, or it might have been the Chargers game. It was still one of the first plays Locke made. It was to Tim Patrick. And if you tender him at the second round level, what is that, three million bucks for next season? That is nothing for a player like Tim Patrick's ability. And let's just say, for the sake of conversation, Cortland Sutton comes back a little slower from his injury, or KJ Hamler goes down, or Jerry Judy goes down, God forbid. You need another guy to step up in there. And they don't really have another guy waiting in the wings with Tim Patrick's ability. I am keeping him all day. If another team wants to trade a second round pick, I, I might entertain that conversation, but I'm not giving him away for the sake of trading him. I'm a big fan of TP. He deserves a multi-year deal as far as I'm concerned. Dude, if a team offered a second round pick, I'd be all over that. Take him. Thank you, please. Just because of the weapons. And that's just such a high, because of the weapons the Broncos already have. But I'm still with you on everything you just said. Because, look, if you would have asked me that question at the beginning of the season, even right after Cortland went down, I would have said with regard to Timmy P, you know, yeah, you know, RFA tender him and, and okay, see if he can trade him. But I wouldn't have expected then there to be much interest in a Tim Patrick trade out there on the open market. But now, Zach, he's really blossomed. We can take a look at some of his stats, but he has really blossomed into a burgeoning number one caliber. He might not be that same transcendent dynamic talent as an ex receiver that Cortland is, but he's getting dang close, man. And even those in the national media are starting to pay attention. I saw Field Yates from ESPN. He has a fantasy segment he does, a video fantasy segment. And he said, Tim Patrick, he highlighted Patrick and said he's been doing great things for the Broncos this season. And I quote tweeted that and said, since 2018. 